Good morning, my name is Andrew Gadsden, I'm the saver of tea, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a cup of tea using a tea bag. Now, you may be thinking to yourself that I know exactly how to do this, I've done it many times before, but let me assure you that we see time and time again here at All About Tea that there are very good ways of making tea and very bad ways of making tea, and the overwhelming majority of people choose the very bad ways, and we're going to try and put an end to that. So here's a few simple pointers that I think are going to help. First of all, the selection of the tea. Now, clearly, I would tend to recommend that you use our tea bags. This is um, Blend Y, which is our standard blend. We make it here in our warehouse in Portsmouth in the south of England. They're of a good quality, they're rich, and they're full of flavour. Another good quality tea bag would suffice. But please make sure it's a decent one, otherwise you'll have colour and no flavour. I'm using a mug. You can use a mug or a cup. I think it makes no difference at all uh, if you're using a tea bag. Most tea bags are designed to make enough tea for one mug. With loose leaf tea, there is an argument that um, perhaps a cup is better and, and, and the flavour is actually better in the cup. But that's going to be in the next video when we talk about how to brew tea from loose leaf. The water must be boiling. It must be absolutely boiling um, if you're making normal tea. If you're making green tea, um, or if you're making oolong tea, it may need to be slightly cooler, but again, we'll cover that in another video another time. You must use fresh water, straight from the tap, or, or even better, straight from a filter. Please do not use water that has stood in the teapot for days or overnight, or has been boiled several times over. Every time the water boils, the oxygen bubbles come out of the water, and the water gradually deoxygenates. That makes the tea taste flat, and it's very disappointing. So I'll just boil the kettle. Contrary to the advice I've just given you, I've pre-boiled the kettle so it doesn't take too long. It'll be hot in just a second. Right, so there we are. I'm going to put the tea bag straight in the mug. There's no milk in there yet. That's really important. I'll tell you why in a moment. Right, so I've, I've filled the mug up with water. I'm going to leave it now. I'm not doing anything, and I'm going to try and leave it for at least 10 or 20 or 30 seconds. In a perfect world, I'd leave it for a minute. Now, I understand that's not always possible, but please, whatever you do, at least count to ten under your breath, or go and do something useful for, for half a minute. Just leave the tea bag long enough to brew, and it will make all the difference. With good quality tea, you can leave it much longer than you think. With poor quality tea, I know if, if you leave it for too long, it's going to turn very, very bitter, and that's because of some of the cheaper teas which are used, which have a high tannin content, um, and lots of that sort of tea bitterness. Good quality tea will almost never overbrew, and that's one of the signs that we recognise here at All About Tea as being, being the mark of a good quality tea. So I'm going to leave that a bit longer um, because the tea can stand it. Um, and whilst it's waiting, um, I want to talk about the subject of milk. If you put the milk in first, the tea will never brew properly. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure why this is the case, but my own personal theory is that it takes... There's two possibilities, actually. Either A, it takes the temperature of the water down. B, which I think is the more likely, I think there's something about the fat molecules in the milk that prevents the tea from brewing properly into the hot water. So please, take the tea bag out and then put the milk in. That's what I'm going to do now. Now, I'm not squeezing the tea bag hard. I'm just squeezing it enough so that the drips don't come out. If you squeeze it hard, it'll make your cup of tea more bitter. If you choose to add milk, now is the time to do it. And there we are. I've got a cup of tea now, which I think is... Uh, pretty much perfect. It's got lots of colour, it's got lots of flavour, it smells like a real cup of tea, um, it's got just the right amount of milk in, not too much or you're going to drown the flavour, please. 
um, and I'm going to enjoy that. I'm probably going to drink it straight away as soon as I finish this. If you want to add sugar, by all means do. Um, if you've not drunk good quality tea before, I would urge you to try drinking good tea without sugar. Just give it a go. Anyway, there we are. That's the tea made. I'm going to go and drink it now. And next time I'll talk about how to make tea using loose leaf tea and a teapot. Thank you very much.